particular one on, on measures? Um, this was announced by the Prime Minister. Okay, so Priya, so um, interesting cover this week. Um, uh, lots of things happening in the past few days. Why did you guys go with this particular one on, on measures? Um, first, it was announced by the Prime Minister at the Capital Markets Symposium of late. And um, we thought it would be interesting because there were a lot of uh, measures that were actually focusing on bringing retail interest back. So uh, with the markets being where it was at that time, we thought it would actually be an interesting story to actually take on. Yeah, quite a juxtaposition because it happened in the time, these measures, that we, you saw the worst crash um, intraday, even, even week on week for, the, for a number of years. It's a worldwide thing. And then, <laughs> and then you've got these measures to bring back retailers. A bit anomalous. Yeah, yeah. but actually, we, we actually did a separate story on that in our Capitals yeah, page yeah. this week. We, we, we actually saw that the times when the market actually did the worst, mm. um, those who actually bought or took up positions, then they actually managed to get returns the next year. The following next year, when that we, Bursa had like a day uh, decline of 2% or more. Right. So, so we thought that still it's not, I mean, it's just a one day decline, it's not enough to actually make people, you know, I mean, deter people from investing in the stock market. Yeah. And then here is Bursa giving you all the carrots to actually get you, get the retail interest back. So we thought it would be an interesting piece to look at. So speaking from a personal perspective and your peer group as well, would these measures, you know, be interesting to, to your peer group maybe? I think it would because in the sense that there's a lot of waivers. So there's actually an opportunity for you to make I mean, the, the spread for you to actually make more money, it widens yeah. because there's like waivers, like you don't have to pay stamp duty for, for three years on mid-cap stocks and then you have a six months waiver on trading and clearing fees, which yeah. is good for a first-time investor. Yeah. So with that, I mean, I, I would think that people in my age, the interest would slowly come back because this was announced at the Capital Markets Symposium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I think actually it's not really a cost issue, but it's, a, it's an upside or stroke risk issue. There's sort of Ben Chain limits um, separate box on people buying, or the younger people buying cryptocurrencies instead. Not, I think, completely knowing that cryptos are in fact much, much riskier than the equity market. But I guess this is a sign of the times. Yeah, I think people, I think young people now, this maybe they don't have the patience like yeah. investors before, but I think, but I think a lot of young people still actually, uh, admire people like Warren Buffett and all that who yeah. don't actually think much of cryptocurrencies in, in for that matter. So I think it's not to say that the equity market is dead for young people, it's just probably it's they've not been given this much of uh, incentives to actually look, maybe take a real look at the equity market. And for me also, I think what was quite surprising was your, your box on what the measures mean. Uh, the attribution came from various industry sources, which is a bit strange because it was announced by the Prime Minister but then there wasn't a particular specific site that you could go to for details. Yep. You had to call around and get do a bit of like forensic investigation. Yep. Um, it's quite endemic of the time because you don't, it's a lot of announcing first and then worry about the details later. It's very Malaysian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, basically what, the, I guess when the Prime Minister made the announcement, he didn't really go into the specifics and during the mm. press conference, so they, they didn't exactly, probably at that time they wanted to make, I mean probably they wanted to announce it to the fund managers first before taking it to the press. Because you guys spoke to Kananga and I think Kananga didn't really have a handle as well, right? So even the yeah. industry didn't have a handle. <clears throat> I guess the, it's probably what they could actually say to the press at that point of time and I, I guess they wanted to be sure to have more details before actually saying anything because they didn't want to mislead the market. But I think um, from what we get, because I mean the sources that we spoke to were actually people who, who were in the know of what, what was going on. So I think yeah. it's, it's uh, suffice to say that this is actually what the measures actually mean. You spoke to Inter-Pacific and Kananga. Did you get the sense they were optimistic for retailers to return? Yes, they were. I mean, uh, they were very, they, they, they took the measures very positively. They were actually, uh, especially with, with, regarding the mid-caps, because they said this is actually a follow-up from the mid-caps okay. research scheme, which actually the SC had announced earlier. For more on this story, pick up a copy of The Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.